No fucking way. I just got back from Aaron's Aaron running and shit like that, right? Oh, there's no way. This is unbelievable, bro. This is unreal. I had to click on it just to make sure it was actually authentically real. Apparently, LTG of all cats ends up kicking it with Adam Twenty Two on no jumper. Now, no jumper, coolest podcast. Personally, I look at this and I'm like, one second. I know some of y'all don't care about this, but I need to do. I have to. Wa I have to watch this. Because this place is exactly what someone like LTG speaks of. Like, he, you would never see him in here, right? Like, bro, LTG, if you don't know, he plays fighting games. Not competitively anymore, but he plays fighting games. He rages on fighting games. He roasts his people in his chat. He's always been a dude that's kind of been inside. He's, one of, he's an inside streamer, right? So, seeing him on on uh, No Twenty Two tells me two things. I feel as though for Adam Twenty Two, man is really scrounging for content right now because honestly, the last few months haven't been the hottest for Adam Twenty Two. If, if you just even get, I'm getting notifications from the Reddit. I don't even follow it, but I subscribe to No Jumper. So, random that the algorithm all of a sudden, you know what I mean? But anyways, they're telling they're talking about how Adam's views are boof and this and that, right? But he's not been there. He's been on, he's been somewhat on the downturn. Now we got a video with LTG of all people. Not to say that he doesn't deserve it. This just doesn't make sense. Something feels wrong here, right? Something feels wrong. I'm gonna hear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch some of this. I'm gonna see what they're talking about. If they're talking about anything, but you know, Adam Twenty Two, bro, that's not who you want to get your big break from as LTG. These, you know what I mean? I, I don't. I don't. You, Adam Twenty Two. You don't understand the the lengths that his trolls go through, go to, just to troll LTG, right? I mean, shoot, they got him off the platform, and you don't want that. You don't want that over here. That's one. Two, bro. I'm pretty sure LTG, especially during the whole Lena thing. I don't remember what exactly what he said, but I, I don't think he was rocking with bro like that. Now, I know that LTG will do anything to get on, right? Just about anything. Like, be a whole different personality, be fake, be in all, all of the things, right? Do all of the stuff. He plays a character. That's, always, that's what he says himself. Um, but this right here, never would have expected this. I never would have expected this to happen, bro. Best in the world. And today, I'm sitting down with low tier God. How you feeling, man? It's unbelievable. I'm happy to be here. It's unbelievable? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Really? Yeah, I mean, I went from, like, scrubbing toilets <laughs> at Goodwill and taking trash off the trucks and selling it to and no jumper. That's crazy. Right, yeah, yeah. quite a journey. You're, you got a name that I've just been mm -hmm. hearing over and over for the past couple of years, yeah. and then I finally was like, all right, fine, I'm going to do the YouTube dive and watch, like, an hour, see, see what the fuck this guy's about. Yeah. And I was pretty intrigued, and I got kind of deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. That's what it is. It's a rabbit hole. So if you watch one video, you just, you can't get out the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. It's just like, so what did you see that like made you want to be like, yo, I got to interview this guy? I saw somebody who you seem like you have a really hard time not just being yourself. Mm -hmm. And we live in a world where if you want to be an influencer, if you want to be a creator. Now, let me say something else. I feel as though, look, LTG is comedy, bro. I made a video about him a long time ago. But at the same time, he got to be one of, like, the fakest dudes, right? But only because he says, like, yes, he says things he believes and stuff like that. I feel you on that, right? We all should. We all, I, I recommend everybody being themselves. But when it comes to how he deals with people, right? Like, remember when Bruce dropped him off? Had him looking at uh, that Barber's Johnson. And LTG was like, oh, you know, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I mean, if that's how he feels, blah, blah, blah. Right, going on, going, going back on everything that he stands for, essentially, just for a viral moment. Try to create one, try to craft one, right? 
uh, uh, the best the best like interactions I think that LTG has had with other other influencers has probably been with the Destiny podcast. I think that's more his vibe is like to kick it with the Destiny guys. This, this bro, and I say this makes no like zero sense, bro. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. If you want to be out here doing this whole thing, there's a million examples of people who are trying really, really hard to protect a brand and an identity and, and to do something that's going to check all the right boxes so they can get the brand deals and so they won't have people making threads about them on Twitter. And you seem like somebody who, you know, has the potential to be this sort of clean cut creator, but it's just not in you. It's just not who you are and you just have something to say and you just... You know, yeah. they talk a lot about like the toxic gamer thing. And I think you sometimes are kind of used as like a substitute for that now. But I mean, you're a young man coming up in this world. Aren't we all a little toxic on that trajectory? I mean, yeah. So the thing about my whole story is I never got into it to be toxic. I just kind of was like, you know, what? let me get a camcorder. Let me record the monitor and just record what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And it just came out naturally. And then over the years... It just went from me gaming to just doing stuff in media. Bro, this is so crazy. Dude, hey, LTG is the GOAT, bro. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT, bro. Literally. He's the GOAT. He somehow transcended fighting games, right? This is like, bro. Imagine if, and if you're a fighting game person watching this, Imagine if like Maximilian do Justin Wong or like, no, imagine if he interviewed like punk, you'd be like, what? Everybody watching no jumper right now is watching this. And they're like, bro, who cares? Like, what do you like? What is this? And I'm, that's not even no shit. Like, bro, like I said, I come from the community he comes from on YouTube and an interest and everything else. So to see this is on viral topics. Things like that, but obviously, I mean, in this day and age, you got to be on a filter. Oh, so South Central, or where where in LA did you grow? Oh, where did I grow up? Yeah, oh, I'm a little bit in South Central, so like off of 51st and Western. Oh, was there for a while. My mom was like, "Yo, we got to get you out of here." Was it gnarly? I mean, stuff definitely happened on the street. Mm. Stuff definitely happened on the street. Um, yeah, it was some stuff that happened. I was always so in LA. I was always that kid that. I was quiet, I was tall, so a lot of kids wanted to try me. Mm. I spoke different. I, I was, you know, I liked video games. Mm. Like that, so I was always being tried. Because there's this whole blurred trope now. Yeah. But you, growing up, uh -huh. wasn't like a cool, ironic, hip, trendy thing to uh -huh. do to was, be a gamer or whatever. I wasn't that guy. Um, I hope he asked him how old he is, because that's the one thing he never speaks on is his age. Like... LTG makes it a, a point to make to like not speak on his age. You know what I mean? I wonder what he's gonna Growing say. up, I was always like teased, but I think that's what helped me. Like everybody hated me because I was tall. Mm. So I was being a tall black nerd that wasn't into sports is crazy way to describe distractor. That's that's so crazy. Is there most replayed? Oh, here we go. Yes. Every single time that I like bought a chick something or taken her out on dates, that shit blew up in my face, and most likely we didn't end up fucking. Right. But you're giving up all your power if you you going on and mm -hmm. everything like that but i was just like really surprised let's watch, this, just whole, let's watch this whole section sort of obsesses over the fact that he's in an open relationship it's, it doesn't seem like the most interesting part of him to me nah, i mean i if if anything i think it adds to his character like mm -hmm. if we didn't know dusty was in an open relationship like he'd still be smart as fuck right great at what he does but that that extra pizzazz mm -hmm. It wouldn't be there. It's just more so like, damn, so I'm this smart, but I'm also like, we're in an open relationship. I'm fucking other chicks. She's fucking other guys. And or, she's dumb hot. Yeah, exactly. Dumb and, hot. And the fact that Destiny has a hot wife, it's just like right. everything aligns perfectly. Yeah. Smart as fuck, open relationship, hot wife. It's just a little too fascinating for That's, normal people yeah. to just be like, oh, okay, yeah, this fucking guy who sits on his computer playing these weird games yeah. all day has just got this smoking hot wife. It's just like, that's too much. People need a little bit more explanation, right? I think she's foreign, too. She's not just yeah, a she's normal. She's Switzerland or Sweden or some yeah. shit, yeah. Yep, yep. So, yeah, that's what makes them unique. Sometimes it's just certain little things and key points that make somebody unique. You can't just be one. You got to be multiple entities. Right. Yep. Um, 
Do you feel responsible for sending Dream back into hiding with his his face and whatnot? Oh, with the reaction thing? Yeah. Nah, nah. That was like, I didn't even think Dream was ugly. I was just like, just laughing at the fact that he probably thought he wasn't attractive to, you know, the norm. Mm. But now you see him at concerts and shit. You see him, he has concerts. He's on stage. I'm like, that shit takes balls. Like, yeah. if I had to get on stage and like dance around and shit, my heart would be busting through my chest. But he's like such a meme to people. Like, I seen mm. the clip of him sort of like crying on on stage and stuff, and mm. it's like super viral. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, like that's cr like I said, bro. This is boring as fuck. It, bro, he's not at the point where you can interview him yet. That's like me getting interviewed. Understand something, bro. LCG. Okay, listen, 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 listen. You want to know why all of the all of the chapters are so long? Right? The descriptions are so so long because he's not to the point to where they're trying to make each section as salacious sounding as possible. Because that's what's going to make people click to the video and be like, oh, okay. But brother, understand something. He got banned on YouTube. Um, and, he, you know, I mean, when he goes live on Twitch and stuff like that, he be getting views. But it's not to the point that he he uh, should be on this platform. Like all 61K, probably trolls. Let me check the chart. Let me check the comments. Rage Kid compilation. This man has been cr having me crying since Street Fighter 3. He only has a girl, okay? He watches him. Love what you're doing, Adam. Seeing your growth. Okay, okay. So this person is definitely somebody that watches No Jumper. Because he's just not beefing. Cool. Props to Adam. Uh, Okay, he could have had anybody interview him. I don't know if that's true. You learn how to laugh or just ignore what people say. Did attempt... Oh. Okay, so he he watches... Okay, so like... Your age. Oh, so yeah. See, people are. This dude probably just got introduced. Him. Have his sharp tank. LTG. This is, bro, it's insane. This is, this is crazy. Now, understand something. I feel as though this won't do very much as far as, as far as, like, LTG the, himself like growing as a dude or whatever. I don't see that happening because these two fan bases really just it doesn't make sense like it, It's so po not necessarily polarizing, but it just doesn't make sense This interview came literally out of nowhere. I like it's it's weird. It's like It's like he's doing a side quest. He hasn't unlocked yet. You know what I mean? Like you don't have all the necessary tools for the for the thing yet but one thing I will say, pause on a positive note, I like seeing people that you would think, uh, you know, a oh, while would they link up, link up. Who knows what will become of this? You know what I mean? You may or may not see Adam Twenty Two show up in his Twitch stream. Maybe shout him out. Maybe not. You never know. This could be another one of those things. You post a thing and it doesn't really do nothing for his channel or. 60k in five days is pretty good, but I don't know how good that is for no jumper stand. Uh, as far as LTG goes, it's just crazy seeing him back on YouTube and it not being a troll channel. Because I literally watch compilations of LTG all the time because it's just hella funny to leave it on in the background. This video kind of didn't really good. It kind of didn't go anywhere. But it's just so unbelievable. That, and it happened five days ago, bro. Oh, I'm not even subscribed to no jumper. Wow. It happened five days ago. And it didn't pop up in my algorithm. Nobody reacted to it. It seems like it just kind of jumped on the channel and just kind of like, oh, whatever. All the trolls, uh, basically just all the trolls showed up and showed out to watch it. And it's just probably, they're probably like the further down the comment section that you go, they're probably picking at, bro. You know what I mean? They're probably picking at him and being like, oh, blah, blah, blah. LTG, right? Like just doing all the stuff that they usually do. Um, this is crazy, bro. Honestly, this is, this is just a random look. But hey, you know what I mean? To each his own. That being said, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate everybody that tunes into these videos. See you next time.